Hello. I'm very happy once again to see you today, and it gives me great joy to, to be here. Now, you that you have been following this channel, thank you very much. You that you have subscribed, thank you very much. And you that you have dropped your comments, I appreciate. You that you have shared content, you that you have liked, thank you very much. Today, I will be talking about tips for excellent performance at interviews. Tips for excellent performance at interviews. This is very important because at one point or the other, we do need to attend interviews, be it for contract, be it for business, be it for employment, for different things. We have one reason or the other to attend interviews. And sometimes people take it randomly and they don't leave good impression. Sometimes they have lost a lot of opportunities because of this. So that's why I want to drop, this, drop these tips that you can use across spaces. Uh, once again, I must appreciate experts in the sector who engaged with me to come up with this content so that it does not just depend on my own solo effort. The interview was with a very fantastic, competent personality in this sector of human resources and performance management. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Now, number one tip I will give you is that be prepared psychologically, mentally, that you are going for an interview, balance yourself. Set to it in your mind that you are not going to the, the lion's den. You are going to meet human beings for whatever reason, you are going to come back alive. So there's no need to worry so much or depress yourself before the day. So prepare psychologically and mentally. It's very important. Then another point is that arrive early. Don't just go there when it's about to be your turn. Arrive early. That, that settles you down and uh, that enables you to get your thought. Another point I will mention is the fact that prepare. Prepare very well. Do sufficient research. This research will give you confidence and boldness to be able to face, to, to be able to assure yourself that you have what it takes and to be able to face your panelist. Then demystify the interview process. Don't see it as a big deal. Don't be desperate. Don't reify it. Don't mystify it. Believe that the process will lead to success. So no need to be anxious. So don't be anxious at all. So just basically research into the organization and the people that will be interviewing you. You may not know your interviewers, but you will sure know the organization or at least a number of things about the organization, particularly, or if you don't know the organization, maybe you are being recruited by third party. Uh, the next thing is to research into the sector. I'm sure the advert will have said one thing or another about the sector. So be prepared, be highly demystified and set yourself mentally, then dress very well. Appearance is very important. It gives first impression about you. So you must, you must dress well. Wear good colors. Some organizations do have color, color codes. So if you understand the color of the organization, you may dress in that manner. To the side, they may be seeing you as a potential employee. There, another thing you need to do that is very important is that smile, smile at your panelists. It gives assurance to the people that you have good social relations capability and also you have emotional balance. So smile, don't frown at them, don't fidget, don't show an uh, attitude that will make them feel maybe you are hostile. Don't frown in any case. It doesn't matter the question they ask you. Don't be easily offended. Mind you, you are not yet a, a, mem a member of staff. So smile, it gives you assurance it gives you, your body releases the right hormones that will calm you down. And it creates an impression that you are a friendly person and a confident person. So be confident. It's very important to show confidence. Nobody wants to work with somebody without confidence. And they may not know that maybe you are just because you are just showing negative attitude because you are under interview condition. No. They just see it that maybe you are not confident. So smile. Don't frown. Another thing that you need to, you need to know is the fact that when you are asked multiple questions, unbundle the question carefully. Sometimes you are bombarded with questions. 
I, I try to get them to allow you to answer the question one after the other. Untangle the questions. If there are, if there are complex questions, unbundle them and answer one after the other so that that will enable you to be clear and they will see that this person is a very logical person. Another thing is that if you are asked difficult questions, you don't understand, tell them to allow it pass, that you will answer that question later. Tell them to go to the next question. That is allowed. It's a standard practice. They can't say, no, you won't answer that one. No. Then maybe by the end of the, towards the end of the interview, you might have remembered or figured out a way to answer that question. You can then tell them to come back to that particular, to that particular question. You can then answer. So answer the question logically and systematically. Unbundle the questions. Don't just model your questions to get answers together. Then answer, tell them to let it pass if you don't know that particular question or you are not very sure. Then very importantly, emphasize your competency level. Emphasize your skill set. This is very important so that they can see clearly what, what, that you are competent. Everybody wants competent uh, um, competent uh, employee. Nobody wants an uh, employee that's not competent. And the only way you can show, they know that your CV must have gone through maybe vetting, you have given somebody to help you look at it, but they want to talk to you. That. It doesn't matter what you are in your CV, but then you are in, in their presence, they put your CV aside and ask you the relevant questions. And you must do well by emphasizing your competency level, your core competencies, the relevant ones. Be sure to tell them relevant ones. And there's no competency that is, that is too unimportant. It depends on how you put it or you put the competency. So emphasize your competency. What, are, what have you done that is related? What can you do that you have been doing that you have done? Do you have proof to show? Do you have references, case studies that you can cite? This is very uh, important. So take it very intentionally and you will not regret that you are doing this. Then prepare before you go. Get experts in the area to interview you. If possible, if you have somebody working in the sector, let them interview you. Your siblings, your spouse, you can even prepare in front of a mirror. You can record yourself and listen to yourself, what you are saying. Get somebody, be prepared. Preparation is very important. Don't just go to the interview unprepared. Research previous interviews in that manner. You will find some that you can just look at and you, can, you must also prepare yourself. Also, be, be clear, be audible. Don't talk in a way that they will be telling you, we can't hear you. That will also destabilize you. So be audible, be clear. E establish speech modulation, voice modulation. When you need to emphasize in high pitch tone, do that. When you need to bring down your, your voice, bring it down. When you need to, modulate, to adjust your, your voice, your pitch, try as much as possible to be sure that you, you modulate your voices. This is very important. And also, don't be too fast when you, when you are responding. Respond carefully, cautiously. And also, always maintain eye contact. Don't avoid eye contact. It shows that you are not competent. It shows that you are not confident. So maintain eye contact. When they look straight into your face, look straight into their faces. And sometimes you want to, when you want to emphasize a particular point, look straight into their faces and draw the emphasis. So it's very important to, to do this. Because what you want to show is that you are confident and you can deliver your competent. Then demonstrate versatility. Don't be bogus. Don't be unnecessarily verbose. Don't be unnecessarily talkative. Don't be a talkative in that kind of a meeting, but be assertive. Be demonstrate that you are versatile. Carefully, mindfully, demonstrate your exposure in that area. Carefully, in a way that it doesn't sound arrogant. It, does, it just shows that you are versatile in the sector. You know what you're supposed to know. That if you come on their team, you will be able to add value to their operations by your versatility and communicate well. And if you need to write written test, write well, legibly, in a way. And let your argument be logical and be systematic. 
And if you do all of this, by the time you are leaving the place, they will be saying, wow. They may not say it's in your presence. They will say it maybe when you are gone. And even they may, they, 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 it, will, it will leave a memory with them that they've not seen this kind of interview in a long, in a long time. If you follow this pattern that I, I, I'll give you. Finally, if they now ask you, if you ask questions, if you have questions you want to ask them, it's a, it's a standard practice. Just ask them one or two questions that are relevant to the, to the employment you are seeking. You don't necessarily to say, I don't have any question. Maybe you don't want to appear rude or just want to run away from their presence. Ask them the question, but let it be relevant and simple and very sincere. But there's nothing wrong in you asking one or two questions. Maybe I'm sure when you are preparing, you might have, you might have things that, are, where, that agitated your mind. So just ask them one or two relevant questions. Don't rush away from the present as if you've been in prison or you have been bothered over time. No, no, no. Calmly ask them the question. Uh, and I'm sure you'll be fine if you take all of these tips. I see you succeeding in your next interview. And uh, thank you very much for, for watching. Like, comment, and share. And please subscribe to the channel and tell others that you are, that you are finding this channel very useful. They can as well benefit. Till I see you in the next video, go and succeed.